Yo, what it do, guys? Welcome back to another video. We got another reaction for y'all. Today, we got creepy videos that have me on high alert. Let's check them out. These are the most viral videos of, uh, what is it? August. August 7, 2024. Let's get into it. Speaking of pats, though, in hurricanes, there is a patent using sound waves to manipulate hurricanes and tornadoes. This guy named Blacksmansky, he came up with using sound waves for entertainment purposes only to quickly evaporate the ocean water to where it could stop a hurricane. It got abandoned eventually because he really his son. Too. But then this year, another guy came out with a patent almost identical to his, and it got approved. Where it gets weird, though, it was federally sponsored for the research of this. Uh, the other guy wasn't federally sponsored. No, but we just mysteriously this guy comes up with his patent. It's it's it is still weird. weird yeah. But it says people that helped sponsor the project: 21st Century Fox, the Walt Disney Company, and the Vatican. Why? And this why, is on why? the patent website. This is on the U.S. patent website. Those are the three big hitters <laughs> <in> there. <laughs> it's like that's so weird. He claimed that the U.S. government is using his patent already. Someone got a screen grab of the radar of Hurricane Barrel okay. towards Texas. The swirling weird pattern was captured on one of the radars. I've never seen uh, that. You look at that. Then you look at that. That's real. That's real. Hey, on my last video, I doubt it's being used to stop hurricanes. If anything, it's to increase the damage. So here's a video of a PLA Marine using a bird-like drone that's actually flapping its wings and flying through the air. Now, apparently, China has been using drones that were character had characteristics of actual birds for quite some time to be used in urban environments because it would be like natural cover and concealment. Uh, it's like hiding in plain sight because it doesn't look like a drone from far away, and you wouldn't know it was a drone until you were like holding it right in front of you. But they could still conduct reconnaissance with it and do whatever they wanted with it. Apparently, back in 20. 2018, they had a government program codenamed Pigeon, which they started creating drones that look like birds. Now, they didn't disclose whether or not they were going to be intended for operations in urban environments, but I would I would assume that they're trying to use them in any environment where they could, you know, gain an advantage. Now, in 2022, engineers from uh, the Middle Kingdom created a mechanical flying bird wing 1600 grams with a mechanical wingspan of two meters and it was powered by a lithium battery and was able to stay in the air for an hour and a half pretty crazy stuff not only is this the hey i've been seeing creepy birds especially around the eastern area i'm talking about like pigeons that look weird as hell like you literally walk up to them and they only run away when you get within inches of them kind of weird Tonight, imagine getting rid of all of the bad and only remembering the good. Zapping your brain sounds like something out of science fiction movie. But it could potentially help people. CBS2 shows you how scientists are one step closer to actually erasing. Wow, if this doesn't prove that memory wiping has been established way back when, this will, guys. <laughs> I don't know if y'all watched The Incredibles, man. Maybe th this video right here is about to tell us the truth. Facing memories. Here we call it the Neuralizer. Keep it simple, Slade. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Agent K. It's simple. In the movie Men in Black, memories evaporate instantly. Ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. That's Hollywood, but now scientists have made groundbreaking inroads that they say make erasing bad memories more of a possibility than ever before. I think that would be awesome. That would be great. So the animal is walking around in this particular place. At the University of California, Davis, Dr. Brian Wilchin has already proven it in studies with mice. What we do here is deliver the laser stimulation. Using pulses of laser light, he was able to get rid of select bad memories. We we were able to turn off a specific memory in mice. This is a really big deal. Mount Sinai neuroscientist Dr. Paula Coxon said... You see, I find it funny how they're making it sound professional. Oh, yeah, uh, get your bad memories wiped. I'm looking at an aspect of it from a different point of view. Because there's always cons and pros everything you do cons and pros 
So therefore, something bad is gonna happen. Like it's just natural. I'm pretty sure you're getting rid of more than just bad memories, yo. Says it could potentially have many other applications, from easing traumatic memories of child abuse to healing the effects of post-traumatic stress disorder. It might be actually possible to take out some of the aspects of the memory that are the most unpleasant by having the person be able to recall the memory, but not experience the emotion and the fear associated with it. And she says the research could ultimately lead to innovative treatments for cognitive disorders like Alzheimer's. We might be able to reactivate those memories and maybe find a new way for those patients to access what did that just say, guys? memories um, and get some of their memory function back. And scientists emphasize all of these studies so far have been done on mice and it could be years before we know whether the same results would actually apply to humans. What in the... Shit, they must have been testing it on Stuart Little, yo. just filed a patent that would report speeding vehicles to the police. Basically, every new Ford is going to have a device that will track all the vehicles that are around it, and any vehicle that is speeding, well, it will automatically get reported to the police. Not only that, this same device is also going to allow them to be able to track your vehicle and report it to the police if you're caught speeding too. They've only filed for this patent so far, it hasn't actually been approved, but make sure you're following and I'll let you know if it... You know there's a... Yo, if this patent goes approved... Man, Ford will be the all-time number one snitch of 2024. <laughs> you guys have seen what's going on in Kazakhstan. There is a fire river going on right now. It's happening right here at the end of July. It's very hot outside. All the firefighters are having a bad time. What? The whole town is very stinky. All the sulfur-smelling air is going on. So, Kazakhstan has been known for a lot of methane leaks, the second largest in the world before. So, this methane here is just rolling. I don't know if it's got into a river or what. There's not a ton of info on it. The, the town there is on fire, and the firefighters are putting it out. I like that little buddy is encouraging the firefighters, giving the old thumbs up at the beginning, <laughs> trying to help them. So, but um, it's crazy. I wish I knew more about it. But this is definitely wild. You can tell that's also wind-driven, which is never good. So with the heat and everything, that's very difficult. And from what I can tell, this is a little bit in one of the towns from the fallout. Yo, that reminds me of the Elemental movie, man. I guess fire and water do. Or can mix. This is City Legional. Life News. According to TechSpot, artificial intelligence can now see what's on your computer screen by reading nearby HDMI electromagnetic radiation. And researchers are saying this technique is already being used in the wild. To simplify, it's not AI is scanning your HDMI cable when it's plugged into something. It's if somebody puts, say, a spy device, and I'm using a calculator for that, nearby 
the HDMI, it can actually scan the leaking radiation from the ports and the connectors and see what is on your screen. It's actually pretty similar to how people used to pick up TV and radio signals back in the day. And this came from Uruguay's University of the Republic and says that their AI powered cable tapping method is good enough that these attacks are likely already happening, which is absolutely nuts to me. They talk about this in the analog era. You could intercept video signals between uh, devices or through the airwaves, but the data that goes through HDMI cables is much, much, much more complex. However, these ports still leak some degree of radiation, so what the scientists decided to do is get something that can scan and absorb the radiation. That's easy enough to do. And then there's a little combination of their own algorithm to sort out some noise and an AI technique to try to reconstruct text pilfered from HDMI signals, and they get around 70% accuracy. So in any given scan or situation, there's a 70% chance the breacher or hacker could see what is on this screen right now. And that potentially means it's easy for hackers to monitor things like password entries, financial data, or even encrypted communications, which is very, very scary. So in order to pull this off in the real world, what they would need to do is plant a discrete signal capturing device inside the target building, i.e. relatively close to the machine, or maybe hang by with a big radio antenna strong enough to grab the leaked HDMI radiation as it happens. I don't know what's going to happen if you're like me and you've got two monitors and a PlayStation and another TV and you got like five HDMI devices going on all at once. Uh, but the point is the technology is very real. That hackers or spies or government ninjas can see what you're doing based solely on the electromagnetic radiation that leaks out of the HDMI port that you don't control at all. You could put additional shielding on it maybe, but that seems a little weird. And uh, well, when an article hits public like this, people that never would have had this idea suddenly realize it's possible and all the bad people in the world are going to rush and try to replicate this. So in the future, HDMI is soon going to be a security weak point. The more technology advances, the more easier the hackers can get access to your information. That makes sense. But what doesn't make sense at the same time is your privacy. You know, nowadays you can save your passwords and all that on an iPhone just by using Face ID. That tells you right there, if they were ever, ever able to encrypt any of that data, you're screwed. You've developed a, an acting discipline that you've referred to as nouveau shamanic, is, right. that, is that correct? Yeah. What are the core principles? I've been told that um, all actors really hail from the early medicine men and the, and the shamans in the villages pre-Christianity where they would put on masks and, and act out and, and really what, they were probably pretty crazy, but they would go in and find answers to questions. <laughs> Today you're called psychotic if you do that, but it's all, it's all uh, semantics. So what I would do is I'd put on Afro-Caribbean paint, like a white and black paint, and black out my eyes, so I look like this sort of Afro-Caribbean voodoo icon, and then I would sew in bits of um, Egyptian artifacts that were thousands of years old into my costume and gather some onyx or tourmaline or something that was meant to have vibrations, and who knows if it works or doesn't, but for me it was an idea of like trying to stimulate my my mind or trick my mind into believing I was this, this character from another dimension and I would walk on the set and then wouldn't speak to anybody wouldn't say a word so I projected this aura of uh, horror which created fear in my fellow actors which then inspired me to believe I really was this character exciting I'd love to be on set with you yeah thanks <laughs> he was feeding off of wow. it was fear but you think of also he's taking real shamanic artifacts mm -hmm. putting them I and mean, you don't see that in the movie you don't know yeah. that something's yeah. sewn into the inside of his, of his thing 2021 yeah you see Hollywood doesn't tell you what's going on behind the scenes yo why does he need to wear all those artifacts dated way back when Egyptian period like <laughs> you're asking for somebody to get possessed as an actor I would have softly the well I say softly, I would hardly decline that, yo.
This is your soul you're talking about. But then again, he probably already sold his soul. You're saying the government has created weather tampering techniques so that the, quote, new world order will be able to starve millions of Americans. Worldwide. Millions of Americans and to control the rest. Yes, sir. And that's my belief. As bizarre as that sounds, when if somebody had told me that that equipment even existed 10 years ago, I would have thought they were nuts, sir. And at this point in time, we have all the documents to prove it. And if you think that 85 tornadoes takes place in the middle of our growing area by simultaneous accident, I'm, I'm sorry. With the equipment that's already set up internationally, and as bizarre as that is, it is proven and documented. We will supply you with those documents. As bizarre as that is, I would say that weather wars, and this is uh, quoting actually Senator Claiborne Pell himself, that they are the greatest weapon ever created in the world, and that's the senator's own statement. So yes, that to do stand up. It might be. I mean, think about it, guys. We live in a globe. I've seen experiments done in a globe glass jar before. You know, whether it's chemistry or uh, even rocket science sometimes. If you put an animal in a box and do those so-called cloud seeding experiments that they're doing on this globe, you can actually control the mind of that animal. You know, have it have its own pattern. And what I mean by that is pattern to sleep, pattern to eat, pattern to wake up and go to work. And then from there, you're just on a non-stop life cycle. It makes sense, yo. It makes sense. See a biological difference in people who see the paranormal. Listen to immunologist Gary Nolan. He spent a lot of time looking at the MRIs of brains of UFO experiences and concluded that these people all had more pronounced bundles of nerves at the head of their caudate and putainment. Yeah, that they're basically smarter and they realize what's sitting in front of them and they don't ignore it. Nolan is saying that there could be something hardwired into these people's brains that allow them to see things that most people don't. What's even crazier is he saying that the people who have this trait might be attracted to each other and are passing it on through their children. Are we seeing the start of a new species of man? One that can more easily see things which others ignore or brush aside? Or has this speciation already been going on for thousands of years and we're only just now at the tipping point? What time would your party... Yeah, it makes you wonder if that's the third eye, guys. You know, people being on acid and stuff like that. That's what it sounds like to me. Start, let's say. Like 9.30. Really? That early? Yeah. I could make that. Yeah. <laughs> but I think, I could think of you of, of starting a party at like midnight. Like what time will it go that, till? That's a different type of party though. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, no, it'll go from like 9.30 to like maybe 3 o'clock, 2, 3 o'clock. And then, you know, we have the top two floors of the hotel. Mm-hmm. Know? And then it will carry on there. What Diddy was doing at his parties was not a secret. <laughs> it was never a secret. Ellen knew. We all knew. We all knew, but that was still her friend. Yes, fragrance. fragrance yes. But why is it called 3 a.m.? Because we all have a story about 3 a.m. It's, it's, it's in the vicinity of, you know, the time you uh -huh. do that. One thing that I have found extremely interesting while doing this Ellen DeGeneres deep dive is realizing how many similarities her and Diddy have, like as far as their circle of people they're connected with, the people who have been very close to both of them for years and passed away, Ellen's ex-girlfriend, Twitch, Diddy's long list of tons of people who have passed away. It's just wild to me how many rabbit holes in the entertainment industry and Hollywood lead back to Diddy. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna go get back to- Yeah, that's not creepy. And if that don't give out any information about Diddy, I don't know what will. <laughs> oh, he was so comfortable, man. But I guess when you're seated that high in this world, 
you know, like the Bible says, you're invincible only here. But in my kingdom of heaven, he's the only one invincible. I'm telling you, if you drink Arizona teas, you need to watch this. Because too many people are finding this goop in their Arizona tea cans. And nobody knows what this is. But check this video out. <laughs> This getting left right here. What the fuck is that? Wait, let me see this. Wait. So, uh, yeah. It's a no for me. But y'all let me know what y'all Hello, mouth. Quien se mete con. Man, I drink Arizona, yo. Ooh, I might have to start pouring out the can in the class. From here on out, yo. Se seca. Quien se mete con Venezuela se seca en los mots. ¿Quieres pelea? Vamos a darle en los mots. Estoy listo. Soy hijo de Bolívar y de Chávez. No te tengo miedo en los mots. Vamos a darlo, pues. Donde quiera. Como decimos en Caracas, en los barrios. Si tú quieres, yo quiero en los mots. Di dónde. Yo, if they do fight, man. They need to show that, like they're gonna show uh, Mike Tyson, the Mike Tyson fight that's supposed to come up. Man, I'll pay for that, man. Pay per view, man, for show. But hey, guys, that's the video, man. It's your boy Indiana Jones with another discovery. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Leave your comments and thoughts below. Until then, I'll catch y'all on the next one.